this and this. Okay, document. Hungry. So hungry. Where's Kai? Not sponsored, by the way. I bought it. Mm. Mm, better. <clears throat> Anyway, we are in Cologne. If you watch Bow Bros, I mean Bow Bros, not very exciting content that you still watching. Oh, then you must be, cameras. you must be a um, diehard fan. And thank you. And if you're a diehard fan, you know that we are in Cologne, Germany, for Fulukina 2018. Here we are. Yeah. Try this. Yeah. Biscuits. Oh, pretty good. It's almost, almost like Kit Kat. We're here for Photokina 2018. Yeah, it's not split screen. No. It's real. Yeah. Aha. I've just sat on the camera. That's why it's hurting. Oh, German snacks. We like German snacks. I've got more German snacks. Haribo. So anyway, it's 2018, which means it's Photokina year. But it's going to be photo keen here every year from now onwards. But this year was still quite exciting because there was lots of new announcements. Hmm. And this is probably really unprofessional that we're filming this with our mouth full. But we're Chinese. So just accept that, all right? Also, the do with blindness. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Minion wafflin. A bit, uh, a bit sweet. Too sweet to me. Mi minion wafflin. Mit mit hasuna scrumfling um umhuls me shaklot. Sorry guys from Jenny. If I've just butchered your German language. So low Good in free. Yeah. You'd be German. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. En enough of that. <laughs> let's hope that was less than a fifth of this video. But we're here for Photo Kino 2018. It's been an interesting year. Lots of new announcements, but not necessarily stuff that we could actually see. Yeah, that's the thing. It's almost like people have just announced stuff and they've announced we're working on stuff. It's going to come out at some point. Maybe come back next year for Photo Kina 2019. How convenient is that? Photo Kina's happening every year. We're, can, we're going to make an announcement this year and then you can come back next year to look at it. Hmm. So what we are talking about is the Fuji... <laughs> Fujifilm 100 megapixel yeah. mirrorless uh, it's, medium format camera. It's just, it's just, it's in a glass box. It's just a spec sheet at the minute. I mean, but the I don't know what. It's really crazy, exciting. Well, I could, I could write stuff on a spec sheet, and that'd be crazy. I'd be like, oh, I've got 200 megapixels, well, they large have format to, sensor. They have to deliver. Yeah, I mean, okay. They, of course, they, they know yeah. that they know that they can do it, but not now. It's possible, so yeah. they can write it down, uh, give a deadline. At least the deadline is 2019. That's, at least that's oh, the deadline. Next photo, Kina. What a surprise. To be honest, talking about every year, photo, photo Kina every year, for, for one, I don't know if we could do it every year. <laughs> I've had enough of it already. <laughs> We've just for done one, one day. day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, one day. Well, you've had you've done two days, and I don't know if I'm coming back next year. But I also feel that the manufacturers probably won't come back every year. I mean, it's expensive yeah. to have a booth, and I don't mean a booth as in like, oh, buy my lemonade at my booth. It's a huge booth, and like Canon has got a whole hall. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Fujifilm uh, had a huge presence as well this year. <laughs> and not just Fulukina. It's also CES, NAB. Maybe IBC and some ABC, BBC. Anything with a C, basically. <laughs> the big two, not Sony, <laughs> Nikon and Canon, they've already announced their stuff. So yeah. it's almost like a lot of the manufacturers are transitioning to... I mean, Photokina was... Quite often people would just announce, just wait for Photokina. But yeah. 
Can Nick on? They're really known to it before Photokina. And then Sony don't even care. Yeah, Sony like whatever. We we provide your sensors anyway. We know what you guys are up to, apart yeah, from Canon. Yeah, your your tweet. Yeah, pretty good. It just remind me of Apple, Apple computer, that Apple. They used to go to, not go to, they used to have a booth at Mac World every year. It's Mac World. Yes. But after a while, uh, after I can't remember uh, around which product, they just not going to Mac World and have their own keynote. Yeah. It kind of like, it remind me of that, that some company want to announce things on their own schedule, which yeah. kind of makes sense. I mean, we, we... It's like, okay, I've got this date for my my brand of camera. All the press are going to be focused on that instead of, okay, uh, we'll all come to Photokina and, oh, we're going there, we're going there. In fact, your the attention might be taken away from your camera immediately. Yeah, just like uh, we call GR3. Sad. That's sad. Because I think, although it's not a big improvement, what, what have they improved? They've added a touchscreen, phase detection. Um, Bluetooth? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> You know, but phase detection, that's a big one for me because the focus is a little mm. bit slow on the previous, the current version that I've got. And um, and move on. <laughs> yeah. Panasonic, full frame. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> we're, we're just going to forget Rico as well. Moving on. Moving Let's on. brush that under the carpet. Panasonic, full frame. Mm, yeah. It sounds like you're not too excited about I, it. You know what? In When I, when I f- did the vlog, I even forgot to film it. I mean, they announced it. Great. And two two new cameras. Okay, fantastic. Uh, one high res version, one low res. Oh, what yeah. a surprise! Guess what? The high res version has got an R on the end. Oh <laughs> man, what a surprise! And the one one of the first things, uh, the top of the spec sheet is fast and accurate autofocus. My eyes rolling so far into my head, it, it, I'm looking inside my brain. But this one, this GX5, have been quite improved a lot. I, I still think there's only so much you can do with contrast detect. You're working on contrast. But, well, I hope. What 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 if it's focus, speed, and sensitivity sensitivity around the same as GH5? What do you think? Um, I mean, it's acceptable, I guess, because yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I think it's accept acceptable. I mean, it's it's really video oriented. Yeah, it got things that other cameras don't have. Not even A7S2. Mm-hmm. So, I actually quite excited about it. Full frame. Yeah. Although Fuji is like either APS-C or me- medium format. Yeah. It's like we're not even. They're too cool for full frame. They're like, yeah, cool. you know what? Everybody's doing it. It's so cheesy. We're gonna do. We're gonna. We're gonna do less than full frame and more than full frame. Yeah. Who needs full frame? But to, look, if we're being pedantic, their medium format is not the same size as medium format film, is it? It's a bit smaller than that. It's funny that Fuji film start with APS-C early. That's why, and then they they doing so great. Yeah. They don't have to prove themselves to release a full frame. Not like, I feel like Canon and Nikon they got pressure into <laughs> doing full frame. I mean, if they you if you do it now, it's either full yeah. frame or don't do it. I I think it's with Fuji they created a new system. So people invested in that system. And I think that's it's good that they don't say, oh, actually, haha, you bought crop lenses. You've got to buy full frame lenses now. But with Canon and, and Nikon, the their core users are people who have in, invested in their SLR lenses, no, like full true. frame SLR lenses. And even the crop DSLRs, essentially Nikon want you, uh, not just Nikon, Nikon and Canon want you to buy their full frame DSLRs because it costs more money. Especially Canon, now it, they got like three different mounts. It's yeah. free. Uh, e, EF, EFS, and EF... Um, no, and then EFR. Four different yeah. mounts. Yeah. I mean, anybody who's bought EFM, which is probably not many people, were, uh, probably might feel a little bit shafted. What's your mm. what's favorite thing you saw in Furukina? Dan Chung. He's always my favorite. Uh, how about product? Oh, oh, oh yeah, okay. Uh, he's not a thing. I said your favorite thing. He's a fit. He's. Not, I don't think he's human. He's barely human. Uh, some some weird stuff like the the Zenit. That's totally unexpected. I I like these unexpected announcements. The, these these little kind of brands or, or that that uh, Yeah. For me, it's the jigsaw tabletop tripod. Yeah. It's it's cute. Yeah. 
it's, it's really cute. cute. Yeah. And it's, it looks cool. It's cute and look cool at the same time. And it's really sturdy. It's well made. Right. Uh, I'm not sure will it be really useful for me, but I want one. I, f- I think it'll be useful. It's crazy the payload on that. On, just yeah. on the legs, what was it? 25? Yeah. 25 kilograms. 200 euros. Yeah. It's a lot cheap. It's not cheap, but I, re- cool. I recently replaced all the... Sp- uh, not all. I replaced... I bought some spares for my Gitzo because I just lost some bits and pieces. I spent about 100 quid just on spares. But that's the great thing is that you can still replace it rather than, you know... Replace having, the whole yeah. thing. I always think that it's cool to tell the kids that Kids, I have this tripod for over 40 years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kind of watch, watch this video while I was kicking, kicking footballs at it. That was your daddy, that was. <laughs> Reckless. We are going to skip to a segment. It's a new one. <laughs> a travel special, especially as we're in Cologne, the, the food capital of this part of Germany. We're going to review some currywurst to give you the best eye, to show you which one has the best curry and sausage and fries together. Let's go. This one is... This is my currywurst. Well, this is my currywurst. This is our currywurst, actually. But the place is called my currywurst. Let's tuck in. I put mayo on this one because I know you like mayo. How kind am I? You can get very hot What's air. It? In is Chinese, it? you can get very hot air. Yeah. Curry sauce, quite thick. Some of the curry sauce can be quite thin. It's quite thick. Five euros, ten. For XL, Kaiwurst XL. Five euros ten. Yeah. Kind of not the, at least not the cheap side. Not the cheapest, no. Um, I quite like the cheap. Yeah. Um, taste of potato. <laughs> I mean, some, yeah, some, yeah, I know some taste mean. nothing. I know what you mean, yeah. Some, some chips yeah. taste nothing. The sausage has got a bit too much bounce to it. Too much seasoning. It's actually not that brilliant, the sausage. What would we give it a star rating? Bogue rating. How many bogues out of ten? I the bro- bro's six. rating. All right. I think I'll go for six as well, actually. <laughs> there we are. Agree. Ha ha ha. ha. <laughs> That's hot. I sound like I was speaking German there. That's hot. <laughs> Jumspangberg. Jumspangberg. I don't know why I sound like Borat when I said that. <laughs> it's nice. Wow. The, the sauce is a lot runnier with this. Look at that, you can see it kind of running off it. It's got quite a nice meat taste to it. Yes. Isn't it? Better than last one. It's a nice firm meat texture. If I prefer feta chip and um, I think this mm. is a little bit too... A little bit plain. Artificial. Oh, the, 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 the surface. Wow. And this is kind of in a more touristy area. Yeah. So it's a bit more expensive. It's six six euros um, something. You can show it in a minute. Around six euros. Don't even know how much I paid. I'm just giving money away, and I don't even know how much. Can I adjust the scale from the last one? I I want to give the last one five. <laughs> <laughs> this one okay. seven. Should we do overall, or do we give it? Because it's it's like two separate things, isn't it? Yeah. Because I would give the sausage an eight probably. Mm. But the chips, yeah, but I think the chips, I'll, mm. I'll, give a, I'll give that a five. Yeah, it's like... It's almost tastes a little burnt. Yeah. Almost tastes a bit overdone. Yeah. God, we sound like food experts, but I'm just making the shit up. We should do a food channel a lot. Wait, wait. Really? You just say it. You're just making it up. <laughs> That's what the experts do, isn't it? So what would you give the sausage? Seven. Yeah, chips. Yeah, agree. Five. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I can handle any more. <laughs> so here we are. Look at that big dollar of mayonnaise. We, possibly we could be a little bit biased because this is our favorite. This is our favorite, yeah. <laughs> we saved this to last. But we, we made sure that this was a place we came to when we're probably full because maybe, yeah. maybe it's just when we're hungry. So when we've been filled with other ones, will we still like it as much? This is actually the cheapest. This is four euros uh, 40. Now these are not as thick cut as the first one. Well, I like the chips here. Yeah, even though it's well, I quite like thin cut chips anyway. Fries. No, I like the curry sauce here. Oh, the chips is also. I think the potato has got a little bit of sweet, almost like those small potatoes. 
more potato. New potatoes. New potato. <laughs> yeah, I like the sausage. Yeah. It got that. It got that. Score for the sausage is at least eight. Whoa. Oh, sorry. So, which curry worst is the worst? The first one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, agree. This is number one. So, yeah. there we are. Oh, wow. Ah. Ding, ding, ding. Go back. Poms Imperium. Well done. You've won a very non useful prize. It's not It's not a, a, a world renowned prize. Yeah. You've won the boat. You've won the boat Rose prize. <laughs> Pom Imperium. Out of a test of only three places you've won so you're the best in this area and the three were tested let's move on to hashtag ask Ben Brooks. what is the first question Patrick Choi Choi is it Choi yes Patrick Choi do you ever make paper prints of your best shot if you do why I don't make I've I've, I've some people have asked me for paper, you know, prints of my photos, but I, I, I don't know. I'm, I, I'm not one that actually thinks. Oh, I love my shot. I'm going to put it on the wall, and there's nothing wrong with that. I think it's good. I think it's good to print your photos yeah. because it's, it's something physical that you can actually appreciate rather than looking on your computer. It, it look, it's different when it's on your computer, isn't it? Than something which you have on the wall. Uh, I mean, imagine an art gallery. Where the, you just got TV laptop, screen. yeah, laptop screens. It's like, okay. But you haven't answered. Would you? Oh, wait, no, actually, you answered. You, <laughs> you don't. <laughs> what, what's your answer? Um, I don't as well. Yeah. It's kind of simply like um, lazy. It's simply lazy, and I don't have much space in Hong Kong anyway. Those kind of thing that I feel like I should, but I still don't bother. George. Is George Randall or Jorge? Jorge Randall, Jorge. that's the Spanish thing, isn't it? Oh. Is the original A7 still worth it in 2018? Worth it means that it's good enough? I, yeah, I mean, it's it's tough. Does he mean, is it good value? And <laughs> you what, what price are you getting at? With that value. What, what price is it, actually? Oh, that's how much it costs. 770, I think so. I don't know, it's got 777 there. I guess it's 777 euros. It's a set, oh, set price. Oh, with free card. 32 gig, it's not bad. Can't get. Oh, got a bag. I would say that's good value, right? And to be honest, you can get a second hand even cheaper than that. Yeah. So I don't really know. I, I, I don't think there's much to complain about that. Mm. Oh, right. that's a great answer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's, what's the next question? Oh my god, we got, we got, we got a question from a drink. Coke. <laughs> or, or... Do you like Pepsi? <laughs> <laughs> Do you prefer Pepsi or Coke? <laughs> I have only an Android phone and I have only an Android phone and no money for a decent camera, black hat, even for a cheaper one. Black hat, how do I do sweet photography without getting restraining orders? What is restraining orders? Well, like if you offend somebody and then people are like, you stay away from me, I'm going to get a restraining order. Isn't the phone, phone is better? Probably, yeah. I, I mean, if you've got a phone, use that. You, I don't know what Android phone you got, but phones take pretty good pictures these days in good light. Yeah. And I think you can be quite stealthy and, and don't be pervy with your phone. Don't, don't like... Pervy with uh, to your phone? Do you, <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, you s <laughs> I'm gonna press your buttons. There's no buttons. I'm I'm gonna put my thumb all on your back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't use it in a pervy way. I think it's a great st street camera. Any phone. Mm. Mm. It's probably about twenty eight millimeter focal length, and just use that and and work on your framing skills, and you can get some great shots from a phone. Yeah, exactly. Just like one of the video I done back in PGN, uh, I shoot with Jeff Moore. On the on the street of London, he's not disturbing his subject, but then he's not hiding. He's there. He's just there, take a photo, and then if the subjects look at him, he just smile, nod, and then walk away. It's just really respectful. I mean, you don't have to hide. You don't have to like, well, you know, you don't have to like on their face. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you don't have to be on first first name terms with them. 
just don't don't act dodgy and people won't mm. think you're being dodgy if yeah. you if you're just there in the environment in in their space and you just take a photo if they don't like it if if they say hey what are you doing just say i'm going to delete the photo that's it there's, there's n- restraining order it's not going to happen unless you get in a fight try to avoid that you know not worth it no it's not worth it. <laughs> not worth it. It's not worth it. It's a shampoo advert. Because I'm worth it. Okay, next question. Fuzzy okay. logic. <laughs> There's do, someone do, called fuzzy logic. Do you like white rice or brown rice? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that we had this fuzzy logic. Talk. This is real. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You mean fuzzy logic or that no, guy? Uh, uh, yeah. Or, I mean, I know girl. fuzzy logic is real now because <laughs> I remember you first talked about it to me. I was like, what the hell are you talking about? I think it was, this was an early morning, you know, we meet up before a shoot and then we have a little drink yeah. before starting. And then For some reason, just... I talk about rice cooker. I know. Maybe that was the time I moved out. Uh, uh, well, maybe, basically, fuzzy logic is the buzzword back in the 80s that that's kind of the same as now uh, AI. Fuzzy thing. logic makes it sound like, okay, it, it's, it's not very good. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I guess it means um, it's it's more randomized, like it's real more, life is. Yeah, like it's, real... all, it's more we act to what is actually yeah. happening, the the condition of the rise, something like that. In, why don't you put in intelligent logic then? Yeah, something like that. It's just a lot of bad word back then. <laughs> back then, it's fussy. Logic. Anyway, <laughs> we're we're not a show about rice cookers, so the question is: How do you shoot against the sun without having an ultimate exposed? Like overexposed blob, 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 blob in the frame or a dark picture with a slightly less overexposed blob. Don't shoot into the sun. <laughs> Use a graduated filter. I'll take, mm, yeah. I'll take two photos and then Photoshop it. Yeah. Yeah, that's how people do it. Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, I, I see his point. I mean, it's not like you're just taking a picture of the sun. Uh, <laughs> not just the sun. Yeah. My eyes, my, <laughs> my eyes, my camera uh, is smoking. My eyes are smoking. Uh, oh, is there any oh, more oh, any oh. more questions? No. Any more questions? No. That's it. No more questions from Pepsi or or rice cooker. No. <laughs> Fanta. No. No more. No more soft drinks. So that's it. That's it for episode four. Thanks for watching, both bros and sisters. We shall see you for episode five, possibly. Possibly. Yeah. But hit that sub 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 subscribe subscribe hit that subscribe button please give us a like if you want to you know you don't have to smash it just lightly tap it and we shall see you again next time not next week that's crazy bye take the chair back now